day at a gun show. We'll see how it goes. Everybody says the big show last week in Richmond was the best show they ever had. Stand by. Two. The skipper. She likes the gun shows. Day two, Sunday, it's been raining. We're headed to the gun show. Last day, 10 to four today. We had a pretty good day yesterday. Maybe today will be better. Maybe the rain will bring a few more people in. But it was really busy yesterday, the gun show I'm talking about. Lots and lots of guns were sold. Record day, maybe, for a lot of people. Back to you. A half hour ago to go. We're at the gun show, finishing up for the day. Saturday. We've been busy. Gun show's been really busy selling guns. My new twist is uh, cleavers. I sold a few at the last gun show. I figured I'd up my inventory and I got my buddy Eddie to make me that sign holder. I had the sign made and I had this shelf bracket from an old restaurant shelf a buddy gave me and Mr. Eddie put the legs on it for me. So it would stand on the table. I got a variety of things. Big cleavers, small cleavers, big knives, lamb splitter knives, in, in between cleavers. Yeah, but I've been pretty busy with knives today. Maybe tomorrow will be even better. I'll see you in a little while. Well, I'm home from Sunday gun show. I just had dinner out at the uh, one of my knife exchange restaurants. On my way to the farmer's market, I mean, uh, to the gun show this morning, I got a call from a guy. I says, can you fix these up? He sent me a picture of them. I said, yeah. 1893 tickets right in here. And then, when I went to my mailbox this morning, there's a whole flock of pocket knives in there from my guy in Suffolk, about 50 miles from me. He sends me knives to sharpen. They're all pocket knives. You've seen them before. You ain't gonna see them tonight. I ain't got time to open that box up. Maybe that'll be something tomorrow. Just pocket knives. 
Let's take a look at these tickets right here, though. They're fancy, I'm telling you. Okay, the carving fork, he hasn't done anything to. Sterling silver handles. This is like a big slicer. Wants me to clean it up best I can. Sharpen it. And this one he cleaned up himself. Put a Dremel. You can see it's not in too bad a condition. He did a pretty good job on it. And this one, it must have been in bad shape but the blade was broke off. He had the blade replaced by some antique place. Stainless steel blade, whereas these are carbon steel. But the same sterling silver handle. Fine tickets. I like them. I'll show you the results Tuesday, maybe. <laughs> I got so many knives to work on tomorrow, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Scissors, I gotta pick up scissors, I gotta pick up knives. Oh, me.